Kohler theory describes the process in which water vapor condenses and forms liquid cloud drops, and is based on equilibrium thermodynamics. It combines the Kelvin effect, which describes the change in saturation vapor pressure due to a curved surface, and Raoult's law, which relates the saturation vapor pressure to the solute. It is an important process in the field of cloud physics. It was initially published in 1936 by Hilding Kohler, professor of meteorology in the Uppsala University. Kohler equation Lane P W D P P zero equals four M W Sigma W R T Rho W D P minus six N S M W Pi Rho W D P three Display style lane left frac p underscore w d underscore p p carrot zero right equals frac four m underscore w sigma underscore w r t row underscore w d underscore p frac six n underscore s m underscore w pi row underscore w d underscore p carrot three where p W display style p underscore w is the droplet water vapor pressure p zero display style p caret zero is the corresponding saturation vapor pressure over a flat surface sigma w display style sigma underscore w is the droplet surface tension rho w display style rho underscore w is the density of pure water n s display style n underscore s is the moles of solute m w Display style m underscore w is the molecular weight of water and d p display style d underscore p is the cloud drop diameter. Topic: Kohler curve. The Kohler curve is the visual representation of the Kohler equation. It shows the supersaturation at which the cloud drop is in equilibrium with the environment over a range of droplet diameters. The exact shape of the curve is dependent upon the amount and composition of the. The Kohler curves where the solute is sodium chloride are different from when the solute is sodium nitrate or ammonium sulfate. The figure above shows three Kohler curves of sodium chloride. Consider for droplets containing solute with diameter equal to 0.05 micrometers a point on the graph where the wet diameter is 0.1 micrometers and the supersaturation is 0.35%. Since the relative humidity is above 100%, the droplet will grow until it is in thermodynamic equilibrium. As the droplet grows, it never encounters equilibrium, and thus grows without bound. However, if the supersaturation is only 0.3%, the drop will only grow until about 0.5 micrometers. The supersaturation at which the drop will grow without bound is called the critical supersaturation. 
the diameter at which the curve peaks is called the critical diameter. <laughs> 